Business Matters. Military veterans are one of the most honored communities on Guam, yet also one of the most underserved. That's why the University of Guam's College of Business and Public Administration master's students chose veterans issues as the focus of this year's biennial Western Pacific Conference on Public Administration and Policy Solutions. Dr. Annette Santos is the college dean. When you think about veteran issues, it touches on our community in many different ways. Our social, uh, the social tenets of public administration, business and entrepreneurship, um, social welfare. Um, these are all um, pressing issues. You see it in the crime rates, suicide rates, unemployment rates. Um, and if you ask, you know, about an island like Guam, it's a very small population and so it makes it very compelling. Amanda Bloss is a master's candidate and an organizer of the conference. We wanted to give them a voice in two ways. One, we wanted to make sure we address the issues and challenges they face on a daily basis and that's why a lot of our topics are those discussions. As the Dean mentioned, we touch on PTSD, suicide and even financial welfare because these are all things that any veteran struggles. They also sought to honor vets through a history project. Working with Congresswoman Madeline Bordalio's office, they collected memorabilia on the storied service of Guam vets to put on permanent display at the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. We wanted to make sure that we showed a full portrait of veterans on Guam. So you have artifacts and testimonies and photos that even cover the Guam Combat Patrol, who we see as some of the starting point for patriotism. Jose San Augustine is the Guam Veterans Affairs Director, who is working with the OG students to register as many veterans as possible. San Augustine says officially there are about 10,000 in the national database, but he believes there could actually be about two or three times as many. They just need to find them. It's not accounting veterans that got out of the service three, four, or under 20 years and then retire. Those are the numbers that disappeared out into the community. And so with this effort, we're hoping that we can uh, continue to go out there and look for these folks and get our numbers up to what it should really be. He points to the many empty chairs at the conference as perhaps a sign of veteran indifference or lack of awareness of the available help. They don't know where to go. Uh, they're not sure uh, if they do come and register they're not sure of their entitlement. Many of them think that they have to go to battle or war to go and register and be, be entitled to something. No, it's any type of injury service connected. So it could be a boot camp, you know, your first two months in, in boot camp that you injured your shoulder or you injured your knee or your ankle. You're, you're entitled to uh, having those uh, issues uh, looked at. He says medical and mental health care are vets top concern. The question that always comes about why is it that we need to fly off to go elsewhere for medical service? Why can we have that here in Guam? And, and mainly the reason behind that is because the, the professional uh, expertise is not here. The doctors, the equipment, the facility itself. He says it's also a nationwide challenge. As an example, he says veterans nursing homes across the country are shutting down. And so if they're experiencing that, uh, we, we have a huge challenge ahead of us. But in saying that, I want to make sure it's clear too that what challenges they do face there, we need to focus on our island, the veterans that have served on our island, and what is it that we could do in the absence of those services that the federal government is having challenges with, right? In the meantime, uh, we'll continue to do what we do best, serve our veterans community and their family and whatever is available that uh, they could provide it or service off then that's what we'll refer them to or provide provide to them for KOM's business matters I'm Nestor Laconto business matters